Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to create functions in C++ that allow you to pass in as many you know, arguments as you want to. So if, for example, I just created a simple function to add you know, two numbers together, and let's just say it just printed it out. You could return it. It doesn't really matter. And something like, if I do void, you know, I want to call it adder. And then so to say int num1, int num2, uh, I'm going to just put std c and, and then just do like num1 plus num2, like so. And now I'm just going to call that method. There we go. And if we run this, we actually uh, you know we need to actually pass in two values. So if I put four and eight, so we should get twelve now because we've added it together. We get twelve. But what if we want to pass in ten? You could do you know num one, two, three, four, all the way to ten. But what if you don't know? What if the user is putting in as many as that they want, and that's totally up to them? That's where you know this tutorial is really useful. So first of all, what we need to do is include a file a library called initializer list so initializer underscore list and next we won't be doing it like this what we're going to be doing is essentially like having a form of a list here we're going to say std colon colon initializer list and then in angle brackets you put the data type so int and then we're just going to call it list here we're gonna say four, so we're gonna loop over the list automatically for every element in the list, and we are just basically going to have a variables here, so total, which is gonna equal zero, and we're gonna say total plus equals elements. We're just gonna add on element to the total, and then we're gonna just print that. So std c out total uh, and line so if we run this right now it will give us an error because the way we need to call it is by putting angle brackets around it like so and we should still get the same result of 12 but watch what happens if we add some more numbers so if we add these together we get 12 16 103 we should get 112 if my maths is correct so 112 there we go that is how we do it so let me just comment this out and on this inside of here i'm just going to print out std colon colon c out less than less than and i'm going to print out every element just so you can you know, see it a little better and ooh, what happened there create a new file which i don't want and if i run this there we go. It's gone through the entire list of files, I mean numbers that we've added, put in there, and it's printed it out. Let's take this one step further. Let's actually template this. So that way we are not specifying the variable type here, but we're just keeping it generic. So we're going to say template class T. Also, I want to mention that this does not work on the original C++ 98 standard. You need something like C++ 11 or 14. Chances are you shouldn't have to worry about that. If you're using something like Xcode or Visual Studio or something like that, you will you be using a newer version of C++. But just bear that in mind, if you get errors and you have the exact same code, let me know what those errors are in the description. And I'll help you out. You know, it's possible that you've made a mistake but it's possible that you have an older version of C++. But again, that probably won't be an issue for you, but it's just something I wanted to mention. Okay, so here we've done the template, and we're just going to put T now. Uh, run this. Okay, so it works the same way, but now if instead of these, we, we actually passed in, you know, something like, hello, the strings world I am Batman now if I run it 
it goes through every single one of these obviously if you was to try and add it then that you know wouldn't be the best thing for something like this but if you want to print it or do something else like that then that is fine you can also change the return type as an extra task i recommend doing that so instead of printing it in here the result return the type and then handle it here so i'm going to just reverse this it's back to numbers like so and yeah that is it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video plus there will be a github link so you can check out all the source code so thanks for watching i'll see you soon